So I want to talk to you today about supermachine.art. Supermachine is an AI image generator that sits on top of Stable Diffusion. Uh, I was recently offered an opportunity to use this piece of software by AppSumo. Uh, so uh, it was offered to me for free. I just want to make sure that I be completely transparent about this. But I've been using Dolly 3 uh, with my ChatGPT Plus account for creating images. Uh, some of my AI writers also create images as well. Uh, so I like Super Machine because it's giving me an opportunity to create my own images and not be dependent upon uh, an AI writer to do it. Um, with Dolly 3, while the images are really good, many times uh, I not very great about saving the prompts that worked really well. So uh, what I like about Super Machine is because it's built on stable diffusion, it has all of these models that you can use. And when I talk about models, I'm not talking about model in the sense of uh, like this woman here. I'm talking about the fact that this image was made with the model called Super Machine Plus. So if you're looking to create some kind of image with these particular traits in it, then this is the model that you would select to make that image. So let me show you, for example, how this works. Let's generate some images. So there are a ton of things going on within Super Machine. I'm not going to be able to show you every, all the ins and outs of this product. There's just too many things uh, to be aware of. So what I want to take you through is what I consider to be probably the sort of the simplified workflow. Uh, so if you bought Super Machine and you decided, I want to start making some images and I want to do it right away, this is sort of that simple uh, workflow for somebody who's just getting used to using this tool. So the very first thing that you can do is you can look at the various models. You can scroll through these until you find a model that makes sense for you. Uh, there's one here that I want to use. It's called Epic Realism. I like this model. So even though Epic Realism shows a person, it's not, you don't have to use it to create a, a portrait of a person. You want to use it because you like the way the model looks. You like the, uh, the, the way that it's created the image. So here's, here's a great example of that. So here's the prompt I created. I want an image of a modern kitchen with stainless steel appliances, a chef's stove with a copper range hood, modern white cabinets, a kitchen island with white marble countertops, brass faucets and cabinet handles, and a sea foam green. That's, that's what that should be. Sea foam green subway tile backsplash. I want a window above the sink looking out onto fall foliage. So before you uh, go ahead and generate this, um, you want to go into advanced settings. Now you won't use all of these settings, but when you're first generating your images, you wanna make sure you at least get the aspect ratio that you're looking for. So I prefer like landscape, 16 by nine ratio. And typically for blog posts, I would do 640 by 360 for you know, like the body of the post, or maybe I'd go up to 1280 by 720 if it was a featured image. So for right now, uh, we're not going to worry about what random seed number is or any prompt guidance. Now, if you've created an album, which you can, you can point it, point this image to an album. Uh, we're not going to worry about sampler. There's a lot of things going on that are directing and driving what we get out of this image. Um, so here's the deal. Notice you're going to get, it's going to cost you one credit. We'll talk about uh, the credit system here and how many credits you get uh, with Super Machine. It's a lifetime deal at AppSumo, so we'll get into that toward the end of the video. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna just generate two images. Now, notice if I generate two images, that's gonna take two credits. If I go up to 1280 by 720, larger images use more credits. So we'll just go with the 640 by 360, and let's go ahead and generate the images and see what we get. 
So again, uh, we'll open this one up. You can take a look at it. Really, the only thing it didn't do in this case is it uh, didn't quite understand the backsplash here. Looks like it's got the marble mixed in with the with the seafoam green backsplash. So you know that one doesn't right doesn't work for me. And the thing that you need to remember is when you're working with AI images, you know it's a very iterative process. Uh, you don't always get what you want the first time around. Here's another image. Um, here's a few other images that I've done. I have a Facebook um, group that that uh, where they share prompts, so I've been trying some of the prompts in here. My friend wanted some stuff for sort of a poem dreamscape thing. Uh, this was pretty cool, I thought. You know, here's a prompt for a mechanical cat with gears and exposed wiring. So let's go ahead and try a different image or a different model. Let's use the super machine reality model. And I already have this written in here. A hipster man sitting in a casual home office working at a laptop. I'm going to add this. Colorful. And I'm just going to do 16 by 9. I'm going to do 1024 by 576. So let's generate two images and see what we get. So this one didn't turn out so well. Wouldn't be one that I would probably use. This one's a lot better. Definitely would be one that I would use. The other thing that you can do is you have this tool section. You can throw an image in there and remove the background. You can do image to prompt. You can do face swap if you want to. Um, if you use face swap, they do have a use disclaimer here. I'm not going to go into that. Image to prompt. So if you uploaded an image, um, you can use that image and then have it create another image from that. Uh, you can set up your own albums if you want to, where now I've just got everything dropped into one album. Uh, but you could set up individual albums to keep track of what's going on with all the images that so you have. So one thing that you can do is you can also dig a little bit more in depth into a particular model. So if you click on information and then you get to this super machine reality model that we've been working with. You can see some of the other images. Now, if you click, click on the information icon, you come over to additional images, and here are some images created with that model. Pretty interesting. Now, if you want to really get into the nuts and bolts about what exactly created this image, if you click on the information icon here, now you start to see why I didn't go too in-depth into some of the other pieces. There's uh, the prompt. There's a negative prompt that, that was created to create this image. There's also a seed number a sampler, a CFG scale, number of steps. So if you want to create this exact type of portrait, you can copy all of these, all of these particular uh, pieces of the prompt and go in and use that over and over again to create an image that would be very close to what you're seeing here. So that's the interesting thing is, I'm just not knowledgeable enough in AI image generation tools to understand everything about negative prompting. And I don't want this video to get too long. So I'm not going to delve into that. But if you want to get into the nuts and bolts of what really created this image on top of stable diffusion, you can go in and you can see uh, every aspect and factor that went into this. So... Now we should go over to AppSumo and take a look at the lifetime deal they're offering so you can get an idea of what the pricing's like. 
So here's Super Machine and AppSumo. Uh, it's on a Black Friday sale right now. It's $79. Uh, you can purchase different codes at different prices. Um, so let's say you purchase one code. How many images can you create? So here we are in AppSumo. Here's Super Machine. It's on a Black Friday special. It starts at $79. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what you get on this lifetime deal. So at $79, you're going to get 1,000 image credits per month. So if you recall, when I was creating images, I was talking about the number of credits that get generated with the various images as you go through and iterate through your images. Uh, on one single code at $79, you get 1,000 image credits per month. So that's quite a few. Um, and then as you go up, it just... Obviously, if you go up to the next plan, you get 2,000 images. Plan three is 3,000 images. So if you're a blogger and you're looking to create images for blogs, um, you know, I think 1,000 images per month would be plenty. So uh, the, the real value of Super Machine, in my opinion, is, you know, it's built over stable diffusion. You don't have to go in and build a lot of prompts on your own. Um, it gives you lots of models to start off with, and then you can go in and create images. Uh, the only knock I have on the product is um, it is can be a little confusing when you start using it. Um, I wish the interface was a little bit easier to understand uh, in the beginning. Uh, that's why I tried to show you that simple workflow. Uh, so other than that, uh, I think it creates some great images, and it's certainly better, in my opinion, than being stuck with a monthly subscription. Now, I love the Dolly 3 images, but to you know use Dolly 3, you have to have a ChatGPT Plus account. So in my, from my perspective, if you're, if you're looking for a tool um, to create AI images and you don't want that monthly subscription, I think Super Machine would definitely be worth checking out. And like I said, with these models they have built on Stable Diffusion, it does give you a little head start when you're uh, trying to create these new images um, for your blog posts. So again, uh, interest of full transparency, I just want to mention again, AppSumo gave me access to this software. I've been using it. I suggested it to a friend last night who wanted to uh, create some images for his blog and wanted to start using uh, an AI tool and, you know, not get into a subscription type situation. So if you found this video useful, uh, give it a like, uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Until next time, take care.